Juan Orlando Hernandez takes a presidential oath and promises to unite Honduras. Little by little, we are beginning to harvest the fruits of our labor. What is to come, compatriots, will surprise those near and far. Honduras has lots to offer. We will grow together with God's hand. But that's easier said than done. On the streets of the capital, Chucuchigalpa, opposition supporters rejected the outcome of the election. They accused Hernandez of putting a military dictatorship in place. More than 30 people have been killed in clashes with police since the disputed election in November. In the past two weeks, the news have continuously shown that those who rule this nation are involved in corruption. I trust that the Honduran people will get him out peacefully. Previously, presidents in Honduras could only serve one term, but the Supreme Court lifted the ban on re-election, and Hernandez ran against Salvador Nasrallah. <laughs> Nasrallah initially held the lead as the votes were being tallied, but Hernandez was declared the winner after three weeks of counting. The opposition claims the votes were tampered with. Which president in the world goes around hiding on the day of his swearing-in if they were theoretically elected by majority? None, and that means that he is an illegal president. They have vowed to continue protesting against his rule. Stacey Bivens, TRT World.